Hello my lovelies, today's video is all about pretty wonderful floral perfumes that you should consider if you are somebody that loves florals. Here are my favourites from my over 600 fragrance collection. If you're new, this is a perfume and luxury channel, so if you enjoy this sort of content, subscribe for more videos. And let's start off this list with something very, very special with this beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's called Villa, Ren Villa Neroli from BDK. This fragrance is just so pretty and calming. I am a person that doesn't really like many florals. I'm much more of a gourmand or woody fragrance girl. And you guys comment on it like, oh, I can see you're like a gourmand, ambery sort of a person. But I do like some florals and most of them, I have to say, are white florals. This one being no exception, Villa Neroli, Neroli calming just white flowers it smells very french it smells so gentle and positive this scent reminds me of one of my like first time fragrances that i fell in love in scandinavia and it was emma s rue de varenne this is very similar vibes and i love it this is a fragrance that I would wear even to bed because it just doesn't bother me at all. It's just melts into your skin. It smells so pretty and natural. I adore the scent. Let me know if you have ever tried um, Villa Neroli. It's just so, so good and excellent for the summer as well. Next floral uh, is super, super amazing as well. And I joked with my husband when I wore this the other day <laughs> that I smell like a rich old lady but I love it. Like, I adore the scent. It's Danger Essence from Roja. Uh, I think one of you said that, oh, is it a men's fragrance? No. So they've got the same names for men's and women's fragrance lines. And then on top of that, it's a bit confusing, I have to admit, they've got Danger Essence, Danger Eau de Parfum, and then Danger Eau de Parfum and uh, Cologne for men, like different concentrations as well. But this is the Essence one, is super <laughs> just a floral. And I love Roger's flowers because he, I think he must adore flowers. He just puts them into every single scent and like so many of them. This smells super luxurious, has got this powderiness to the flowers it's absolutely just like it's full like when i smell it it smells like just a bouquet of hundreds and hundreds of flowers it is so immersive on it, of an experience when you wear it and i love that it kind of smells a bit more traditional like a traditional perfume not um like the modern ones that really now the trend is a bit more woody and transparent whereas this is like this just really traditional old money rich old lady fragrance but i wear it and i absolutely adore it the quality is there and it's so 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 good next fragrance is wood jasmine i said i love white flowers this is also a bdk scent this okay i have to say this is more of a gourmand one but you know i have to i don't actually i was looking at my fragrance collection and i don't actually have that many like straight up light floral scents but this is one of them that could be squeezed into this list okay <laughs> don't laugh at me this is ooh apple cinnamon jasmine a tiny bit of jasmine <laughs> it is kind of gourmand okay i'll have to say but it's got jasmine in the name okay so you have to excuse me if i put it on here i adore the scent if you like ambery warm jasmine sort of apple pie vibe this is excellent but only for colder seasons because i can't imagine this being good in the summer heat oh Oh, I can't even think about it. Next on my list, it's a fragrance I adore and I don't own, <laughs> but I adore it and I spray it like when I'm out and about. It just has always been one of my favorite fragrances, but I'm weird like that. It takes me ages to buy a fragrance. And this is Dior Pure Poison. 
I adore it. It's white flowers. It's very heady. It's intense. It's clean. I think this one is like this narcotic white flowers that I could wear for days and days. It does smell, I think, a bit more of like grown up. This is like an adult perfume. Um, that's maybe why I haven't bought it because I own two other poisons and I just love them as well so I feel like I'll be like cheating uh, with pure poison if I buy pure poison but I adore it so so much and admittedly I have to get it in my collection because it's one of those fragrances that is just a staple it's so such a good floral next up it's a Serge Luton fragrance it's La La Dompteuse and Caget and this fragrance it is so good it's again white floral <laughs> this is just idolic like carnal flowers it's super feminine and sexy kind of even a bit Bumpy, and uh, this would be perfect for a night out. This is the flowers, like the flowery fragrances that I adore, like intense, just robust, just there, there. And this fragrance, I love Serge Luton, and this scent is so, so good. I adore it, and this is my sort of a floral. <laughs> Next is a proper proper floral don't worry it's lust in paradise ex nihilo this fragrance it is so so good and just positive floral clean i like how it dries down i always comment on it on that because I find that a lot of flowery fragrances like fresh flowers they just don't end up smelling nice on the skin like at the end like the dry down I find them a bit too harsh whereas this just goes into this like milky flowery scent when it dries down so it's stunning this is like a straight up flowery fragrance that I adore and together also with Chloe, just the original Chloe, that scent is a very floral fragrance, but it smells clean. And to me, florals are just amazing when they just get, give you that cleanliness, that they're perfect for every day. I don't know if you guys agree, but I love them for like day to day, solid staples. And this is what it is to me. This is like an, an everyday fragrance, not a going out at all, but just like a solid even if i'm working from home even if i'm going to work this will cover me and they are just a safe bet next up is a fragrance that i really 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 love and it's this one hotel from jerobom and it's the extra this scent oh my gosh this is a sexy floral ah it's lactonic tuberose it's a bit animalic even it's so good and it's got this, this tuberose has got something in it i don't know what it is but sometimes tuberose kind of smells a bit plasticky but in the best way i love when tuberose does that and it did it for me in the discontinued tom ford orchid soleil or tuberose soleil it was in the pink bottle uh, and it did that and it was so delicious and in here it does that i don't know what makes it go like this but it's got a tiny bit of the same factor to it and i adore this this is such a great fragrance if you want something super opulent sexy great quality this is the extra so it's really strong really beautifully done from jerbon next floral i really love as well and i've always Always loved it's Ali Elisa Le Parfum Lumiere, any pretty much from the line. This is again a white floral and it's so so good. It's super classy, super timeless. I wore not this bottle because this is it's a newer um, flanker, but another one to work a lot because it smells professional but not boring at all. So I love this sort of a vibe. I haven't worn this in a bit because it's dusty so i have to dust it off and wear it again but yeah it's a one that i have in my collection and you know that if a floral is in my collection 
I adore it and there's not many so this one is special <laughs> and another one that I kind of stretched a little bit because I don't know if it's a straight up floral but I love it it's portrait of the lady from Frederick Mal this is a rose scent so that is why I'm putting it in here it does have a lot more depth and um, I don't think it's like a straight up floral but to me this is what makes florals really interesting to me this is my personal taste i love rose with oud or rose with patchouli or rose with leather i just like that juxtaposition of like a delicate flower and then like leather or something really intense and just authoritative i guess and this is one of those scents that i adore this is my sort of a floral um this is a rose that is just pure red in like in my mind it's just an intense beautiful rose uh, with uh, just depth and amazing earthiness um, as well so i love this one and i also love prada paradox which i talk about all the time so you can just watch one of my other videos to see what i think about it because i just talk about it all the time and a la rose from mfk he does rose really way uh, really well i've got two rose three rose fragrances from his line and i'm not a rose per se person but in this french perfume way amazing it's crisp it's clean perfect for every day and super happy and positive let me know if you've got any recommendations or what are your favorite floral perfumes that other people may enjoy and love and i will definitely take some notes because i need to get more into florals because i'm just stuck in my umbery ways but i really love some flowers and i want to get more into floral fragrances so let me know your thoughts i'll see you in the next one bye